I will now show you my brown bum. How much time we've really had. Are you talking? Oh, oh no. Well, I really do think you should ask the connoisseur over there. No, this is a connoisseur of mine, but I must admit, this has turned out to be the nicest one. And, um, so yeah, the plastic box is very nice, but I'm not enjoying this. Can't be the box, Ernie, can't be the box. Will you say a few words into the wine bottle? <laughs> <laughs> you don't ask me anymore. <laughs> well, like everybody else said, it's been the normal Christmas. Lots of turkey, lots of ham that we can't get through. The weather's lousy. We had a couple of good laughs when we all dressed up. You especially with her six fat father Christmas bits. The only good laugh I had this Christmas, quite frankly. Apart from that, Cats are sick, the kids have been sick. We've all made our annual visit to the doctor. The weather's lousy. Anne has been sore all over. Lou's got a sore bottom, I've got a sore eye. The children have had sore throats, sore ears and sore heads. Ian has had the biggest sore head of the lot and made everyone know about it. And apart from that, a very happy new year. <laughs> I must tell you about these peculiar Australians. Their living place is called Paddington, King's Cross, <laughs> Stanmore, and other such strange places like Woolwich and Greenwich, all in the wrong place. <laughs> and I watch this lousy television where you can't tell the adverts from the programmes. <laughs> and I won't let you take your clothes off on the beach. <laughs> and <laughs> have we come to the end of the film yet? Because I'm running out of peculiar things about Australians. <laughs> But apart from all that, uh, everyone's had a really miserable time. And the next report will come to you on board our boat from on the Hawkesbury River, and things will be a, probably a lot, lot worse. <laughs> Bye-bye. Children, did you all like Christmas? Yeah. Did you all know how to sing Jingle Bells? Yeah. Yeah.